Hi guys, this is Allison Pryor, and we're doing now the flowers in a vase painting, acrylic painting, this one. So today we are going to, we already have this much done in lesson one, so now we're doing lesson two. We're going to put some of these little flowers around uh, our border, and then we're going to darken up this part of the table. So let's see what we can do today. Now. I got some uh, burnt umber and sap green and cad yellow, cad red, ultramarine blue and a bit of black and some white. So you see these are tube paints. See how they don't run? So these are nice, nice and thick. So you're going to get yourself, I got some brushes here. These little brushes are nice for flowers. And these are the sable brushes I was telling you about and they're flat and they're chiseled and they're great for flowers so get yourself a handful of those and some nice uh, little uh, heel and toe I call it uh, brush so let's see now what we can do let's take our little brush that I showed you right here okay now take all you gotta do is run your brush, make sure it's damp, run your brush through the green on one side, even though it's round, just pretend there's two sides, and flip it around and run it through the yellow. Now, with the green side down, just tap on some of your flowers wherever you want them. So just touch, let me see if I can show you this nice and close. Green side down, touch, touch on either side, and then you get a little flower, something like that. And just touch, and I'm going to put some more paint on there. So just when you run out of paint, it's not much you can do then. So just get more green and more yellow, maybe a bit of red for a bit of fun. And just touch, 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 touch. You got all these little flowers. You can put them wherever you want. It's okay. It's your painting. You do whatever you want. Touch. Touch. Wherever you want them, just touch. That's all you have to do is touch side by side. If you want little ones, just put a little tap. Just tap. So, more green, more yellow, more red, even blue. Let's go with some blue, too. Let's see. Let's just touch, touch. Touch, touch, touch. Touch. Some pretty little flowers there. You see that? Touch. Oops, sorry. Another blooper. I keep making bloopers. Okay, get some white. And some red. And some blue. And some yellow. Just pull it through. See so what colors come out for a bit of fun. Touch. Nice little flowers everywhere. So that's all you have to do. So put those little flowers on the side there. I should fix this one up a little bit. Okay. So all I'm doing is touch, touch. Dipping into some different color paints. Touch. There we go. So you can put them wherever you want on that a nice border that you made with the nice um, those nice little strings of whatever you want to call them. Okay, here we go. I'm just touching, not doing very much of anything. I'm just pulling through. If I don't like what I see, I'll add some white just to, to brighten it up a little bit. I almost got a butterfly there. I'm surrounded by flowers. Just like to have some inspiration. These are flowers I have in my house. You can get real flowers out of your garden if you like. And then you can use them as an inspiration. And you can look at some flowers and books and all kinds of places and paint them. Uh, when you get some tips from me today, then you can hopefully paint flowers a little easier and then you'll be able to go and paint the ones that are in your garden. So we're just going to do these little flowers here. So put on as many as you want. Put them where you want. And 
and then we'll just have those nice little flowers on there there we go so I'm just putting on a little bit of white a little bit of whatever I want okay I'm just gonna leave that I want to spend a lot of time at it because we have so much to do so what I'm gonna do next after you get that done then we're gonna darken up the bottom of the table here just to make it look like there's a bottom there so just get a flat brush flat sable okay no bristle brush uh, I don't think you're not going to need a bristle brush anymore now because these are nice flowers and you're just going to be using sable brushes okay so I'm going to take some of my brown and I'm going to take some black so I can really darken up that bottom I might even add a small bit of red okay so let's really darken up now you have to have a steady hand or you can put tape on it um, but right now for the video, I'm just going to put put this on as best I can, and it's just going to be the bottom of your table. Okay, there we go. Just the bottom of your table. Just go across over. Now you got a nice flat brush, so that should bring up a nice little edge there. If you have tape on it, it'll make it much better for you. Okay, so here we go so just keep putting on the paint until you get as dark as you want reload your brush many times however many times you have to to get that paint to move good 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 okay so I'll let that dry a little bit there in case I want to do some other things with it and the next thing we're going to do is the vase so the vase you can use chalk or you can use a pencil and we're going to draw it on. You can draw it on paper first and then transfer for your drawing to your canvas. Okay, so I'm just going to draw it on and hope for the best. Um, some people can't draw a straight line like they tell me. So I would suggest that you look at different vases and decide what you want. Even if you have to print one off on your computer and then just trace the outline. But if you can draw it yourself, go ahead and draw it on a piece of paper and you still can transfer it over to your canvas. Okay, good. Now, let's see. I'm just going to use, um, maybe I should use chalk because you won't be able to see it if I use a pencil. So you go ahead and use whatever you want that works for you. Okay? So here's how we can do this. We can draw on our, I drew it out a couple of times and made a mess. <laughs> but anyway, so as you can see, I was trying to get to right. So I still may not get it perfect, but I'm going to try. So it, it won't be perfect, but it will, when you start painting, it will bring it to life. So what I'm going to do is sit that here for a minute and I'm going to try and get how far up it is it's probably around here is a small is a small little line and the bottom is around here okay so the bottom and the top I'm gonna make this the top part smaller make a little smile for the top part of the vase and a bigger smile. I put a line down the middle. That way you can tell if it's too big on one side, okay? That line down the middle will help you get it nice and uh, equal on both sides. So there we go. It's a bit better. A little bit of a smile. All right. Now we're going to try and get that shape as best we can. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to come down to meet that line and I'm going to round it off. There we go. I'm going to come down, come down, come down, and round it off. There we go. So that makes it a little more even on either side because of that line in the middle. Good. Well, I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm going to just paint over that. So what we're going to do, we're going to paint that first with some white. Let's paint it with white first so that we can... That's a noisy one, that one. Okay, so we got a clean, flat brush. Whatever brush works for you, you know, um, as long as it's a nice sable brush, it's a nice brush, it bounces back, springs back, so it's not going to bend over. 
So take some white paint, dip into your white paint and paint it white. Now you can paint your vase any color you want. You can have any shape vase, any color vase, whatever you want. Okay, you don't have, if you don't like this one, I'll just put a vase there because uh, I thought it was an easy vase to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it all in white. And when I paint it all in white, then we're going to go over it with a, a glaze. Let's see if we can do that. So just try and shape up your vase the best way you can. you got some white going on here. There we go. Shape it up the best way you can. I'm using the chiseled edge of the brush there to get the edge. Just a chiseled edge. See, I'm, I'm turning my brush uh, vertically. This is horizontal and this is vertical. Vertical. And here we go. So let's go down and now we can turn it horizontal again to get the center and vertical to get the edge. Perfect. So we're getting close. There we go. If you make any mistakes or you go outside the lines or anything, don't worry too much. We can always fix it up. You can always put a flower there. There's something really off. Okay. So what we'll do now is we will take our we'll take our uh, blue with uh, let's see probably we'll take a little bit tiniest bit of blue hardly anything at all and a little bit of red and we are going to add some water to this because we want to uh, make it see through we're just going to do a little glaze that's all so I'll just add a little bit of makes a mess on your so it'd be better if you had a little separate cup for this that way you wouldn't mess up your palette okay so um, yeah use a separate cup if you got one there or a separate something and put some water in it now as long as you can see through this we'll be fine okay so we had to add more water you can go ahead and add more water so this might be a little wet it'd be nice if that was dry so if it's not dry um, then you can chalk on there look chalk so if you're, it'd be better for it to be dry because you'll see it'll probably it'll probably blend in with it there we go so if you can let it dry if you don't have the patience to let it dry just put it over what you got done and this will be a little glaze to go over your to change the color a little bit so then we'll just take a little bit of a, our glaze and darken it up with a small bit of blue. Small bit of blue so we can add some shadow on the corner here. Good. Just a little. Just pull that into the vase. This is just a little bit of a heart. You could easily take any color and just go over your vase with any color and have a solid color and, and that way then it won't be so hard for you if, you if you're not used to this but I just want you to learn you know how to glaze and how to do things just always trying to add a few extras for you because as I do more videos some of you guys are are looking at a lot of my videos so by the time you get to this one you might be more experienced and you want a bit of a challenge so I'm just going to put that glaze on and then I'm just going to add a little bit of white to the center and we can do some more with that after Okay, so I got uh, some water on there. So if you want a little bit more blue, just pick up some more blue, just to give it a shadow color. If you need any more, just go ahead and, and add a little more shadow on the side. The darker it is on the side, then it will, um, it will make it more round looking. Okay, so just going to have some shadow in here so I'm just going to put on some blue like this I'm just scraping it over it now every time we do a glaze you're, yes it should be dry but I, I don't want to waste your time waiting for me to dry that or so I'll just give you the instructions okay 
So what you're going to do now is put a little pattern on there. Put your little, put your little pattern on there, and uh, like a little pattern, something like this. You know, look around your house. You might have a vase. These vases are. Uh, they have some have flowers on them and some have different but I'm just gonna put some little just gonna put some little let's see little shapes I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to squiggle I'm just gonna move my brush around like this that's all I'm just gonna put on some little designs so uh, you can just put on whatever design you want. Like I said, you can have a look at some pictures. And I'm going to just all I'm doing is squiggle, squiggle. See, I'm just moving my brush around. I'm not doing much of anything, and I'm leaving uh, some of the the vase to show through. I might just come a little darker down here. Just squiggle around your lines. Okay, good. And you can come right across. And there we go. So you go right across with some squiggly lines, and then, um, then we're going to uh, do one on the side. There we go. So you do them all over the place until you get the, what you're looking for, and then you might want one in the middle that uh, just comes up and around, up, up, up. Move your hand so that it wiggles around. Now. See, and that's pretty simple. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put a few more little dots and stuff here, just to give it some, I don't know, just some nice little designs. Okay, so I'm not going to be too fussy. You guys be fussy. Never mind me not being fussy. You be fussy. This is your painting and you want to do a good job. So you be fussy. And you look up, and what I want you to do for homework, because it's, you do your vase and you look it up, uh, different pictures of these kind of vases or any kind of vase you want and have a look at the patterns and then and then you can go by that and that will help you make up your own pattern. So right now I'm using my liner brush and I'm just bringing on some of these nice little straight lines. Yep, you just dip into your, uh, you just run your, your brush through your blue and a little bit of water and then you can make some nice little squiggly lines. Okay. The thinner the better, so try not to push on your brush too much. And just make some of those lines. There we go. Okay, good. So that's just a little quick design. It's nothing spectacular, but you might come up with something better. But I wanted to show you that anyway. I thought it was fun. I thought that was fun. So hopefully you do too. So we got to put a little base on here. We'll put a little base on here. So you can just take that flat chisel brush and run it through your blue, dark blue, and just put on a base, just right in the middle of the vase, just pull over. We will also be putting on some uh, highlight there. So just pull over your vase. You can have any kind of bottom that you want. It can be fancy. So I'm just putting something there just to show you. So you can have yeah, you can have a fancy bottom if you want, or you can have just a plain old bottom like I got there. Okay, and you can use your finger to fix it up if you have to. Now, next we are going to make some background leaves so that we can make our flowers. So when we put the background leaves on, then I'm going to go and I'm going to let you play with lesson two. And I want you to do that, and then I'll come back and then we'll put the flowers on, and we'll do some touches. I saw we should have this done in probably four, four or five lessons, maybe less. I'll, I'll do my best to get as much in as I can. So right now, you wet your brush, okay? And the brush you're going to use for this is your flat chisel brush for now, okay? Nice and chiseled, and you're going to go into your green paint. Green on one side and yellow on the other. Okay, so green and yellow. And then you are going to make some background. Actually, I was fooling around with this and all these lines, is what I was doing. So 
you come out here and you, you draw, uh, you make a, a line and you pull it up and you're going to have your flowers. So we're going to have our flowers. We're going to decide. These are where our flowers are going to sit. So you can make many of those lines as you want. Okay, so we can have one coming up here, one coming out here, one coming out here. So you're using the chiseled edge of your brush. All right, this chiseled edge of your brush. And you got another one coming out here, maybe another one up here, and maybe one down here, falling over, and maybe one falling over here. We will be touching these up again after. And then maybe another one here, coming down over here. And I'm going to add more green. Maybe there's one coming out here and down over out around a table, fill out around a table. Just just put them out there. Don't have to be anything fancy. Just get your lines on there, okay? So that's all you have to do. Put as many as you want. All right. All right. And then you are going to let's have a look at our picture. Okay. So we got them all over the place. So let's take some more up here. Pull it out. Now I didn't. You don't have to make it fat like that. Okay. You just that's just where my brush uh, went. But most of the ones we're doing now are just little tiny ones. So just make your brush. Uh, chiseled and just bring out some more out 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 I hope you can see it out and out and out and everywhere let's put them everywhere let's just bring out the lines Bring out your lines. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer to a chisel, a nice long brush, a long liner brush, and pull through uh, my yellow and uh, green, and I'm just going to bring out some nice little tiny lines, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some blue to that just because it's so light. And see if I can darken up so you can see it. That's a bit better there. So these little tiny ones. Because we're going to be putting flowers everywhere. Everywhere. Because I wanted to pick, I wanted to do a random, random flowers. Because you don't have to have these many flowers in your painting. These are just flowers for you to choose from to show you some techniques. And you can take some of these flowers and put them in your painting. So let's just make random there we go. Now you can put in as many as you want. When I come back, we may put in a few more because I still want, I got some, you know, lots of places where I can put some more and some tinier ones and all kinds of good stuff. So you go ahead and practice this. Put in as many as you want for now, just the lines. No need to put anything else in. Concentrate on one thing at a time. So put in some more lines and then I'll let you go. And you guys, um, have fun, and I will see you in lesson three. So, have fun painting this beautiful flower vase. Happy painting. See you in a few minutes, or whenever you get back to me.